Hey everybody, Secret Squirrel here. Uh, this is on graphing other trig functions. I'm going to show you how to graph uh, the tangent and cotangent uh, in this one. And um, uh, this is part one, so after you see this, go ahead and uh, look at part two also. So uh, let's go ahead and begin. Okay, so let's go ahead and graph y equals tangent of x. So I'm going to go ahead and set up a t-chart, and we're going to pick some x values. Okay, this is all stuff we've done before with the sine and cosine right here. All right, and I filled these in. We have went over these several times already. So those are the tangent uh, values at those uh, right there. And we went over the unit circle right there. So um, I'm going to go ahead and graph those guys. So let's go ahead and put in the pi over 2s. Let's put in the pi over 4s. And then let's go ahead and put in uh, the asymptotes. So there's undefined at pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. And then I'm going to go ahead and put in uh, the, uh, the plus 1. Uh, here's the 0. So here's the 0 right there. Here's the pi over 4, 1. Uh, here's the 3 pi over 4, negative 1. And so they're all in there right there. And they, it kind of makes these sort of little curvy, S-y sort of things. And so that's your typical uh, uh, tangent curve right there. All right. So uh, one period is in pi radians right there. So one period is in two pi radians for sine and cosine. Uh, but for tangent and cotangent, one period is in pi radians. All right. So the properties of the tangent curve, the period is in, uh, is in pi. Uh, the domain is all real numbers except uh, at the asymptotes. So those are the pi over 2 asymptotes. So, okay, and the range is the set of all real numbers. And I, I do this on a scale of uh, 2 pi. Even though the period is in 1 pi, I always do this. It's easier for to remember on a scale of 2 pi. Starts and ends at 0, halfway at 0, then halfway asymptotes, and then halfway after that it goes plus 1, minus 1, plus 1, minus 1. Let me show you. Okay, so we're going to go, here's, here it is right there. I'm going to start it and end it at zero. So that's the first part right there. Okay, so starts and ends at zero, halfway at zero. So on, remember, it, I'm doing it on two pi, even though it's, it, it has one period on pi. I'm doing it on two pi because it's easier to remember. Starts and ends at zero, halfway at zero. Next is going to be half asymptotes. So there's the half asymptotes right there. Then I'm going to go from there. Halfway in between those guys is going to go plus 1, minus 1, plus 1, minus 1, all the way through. Okay? And then go ahead and connect them up, and there's your S-shaped curve right there. All right, let's do uh, the cotangent now. Let's graph the cotangent. Well, there's my T-chart for my tangents. Remember, cotangent, you guys, is all the reciprocal of those. So the reciprocal of 0 is undefined, and the reciprocal of undefined is 0. Okay? Otherwise, the reciprocal of 1 and negative 1s are the same right there. Okay, so that's my tangent curve right there. So let's go ahead and do the undefined right there. So the asymptotes uh, are at the 0, pi, and 2 pi values. And then uh, my, uh, my zeros become uh, the pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. And then it goes plus 1, minus 1, plus 1, minus 1. So your cotangents go the other direction. Okay, so cotangent properties. Uh, the basic one is this. It starts and ends... Uh, uh, with asymptotes, halfway of the asymptotes, halfway zero, halfway plus one, minus one, plus one, minus one. I like remembering the tangents and then just reciprocate those. That, for me, that's the easiest to do. All right, so here we go. So I'm starting and ending with asymptotes, okay? Halfway of the asymptotes, half at zeros, half at plus one, minus one, plus one, minus one, and then connect them up. There it is right there. All right, and that's it.